Whoa! This is more thrilling than a roller coaster! This isn't an amusement park. Be careful not to fall. Yeah, yeah, I know. And welcome back to more Sailor Moon! So last time, we got through the first two stages, and this time we're starting out with stage 3. This one is a little tricky because we have to fight enemies on moving platforms, essentially. So the amount of room you have to maneuver is constantly changing, which can be a little bit tricky. Enemies tend to spawn in the lower left corner, uh, so my advice would be to stay on the lower truck and also stay towards the right corner, and try to use projectiles to uh, whittle down their numbers as they spawn in. Um, I hope I can get through this without losing too many lives, uh, this tends to be kind of tricky, especially enemies like that that can actually lunge forward, especially when uh, there isn't a whole lot of room to move. Um, so as we're making our way through here, uh, there is actually one more thing I wanted to bring up about uh, the developer of this game, Arc System Works, um, specifically involving River City Girls. So something I also uh, looked up again is they actually only published the game, uh, the game was actually developed by WayForward, which also I feel like would work out well in terms of a developer for a Sailor Moon game, partly just because the voice actress for Shantae in most of the modern games voices Sailor Mars in the current dub of the anime, so that works out well. Um, plus I think WayForward would, would be able to capture the kind of um, whimsical nature of Sailor Moon, like the humor aspects of the series. Um, there are actually a lot of Sailor Moon games, but not that many on Sega platforms, oddly enough. Uh, after this game, uh, the next mainline game for a Sega console would actually be, I think, Sailor Moon Super S for the Saturn. Um, there were a couple for the Game Gear, and even some for the educational platform, the Sega Pico. By the way, this enemy here is the boss of the first stage, uh, and is now a regular enemy. Um, so yeah, a lot of uh, Sailor Moon games at the time were only on Nintendo consoles. Uh, I think one of the most notable ones is probably Sailor Moon Another Story, which is actually an RPG. Um, despite liking RPGs, I've, I've actually never played that game beyond like the first couple hours. Someday I actually want to. Um, not for a Let's Play, because that game is apparently like 40 hours. It's a full-length RPG, um, so probably not for a Let's Play, but eventually I would like to try it out. Um, even the sequel to this game, uh, based on the second season, Sailor Moon R, uh, was only released on the Super Nintendo, and uh, it's actually a game I wanted to Let's Play um, sooner, because I actually preferred the second season to the first season. But the problem is, because of how this game is set up, um, where you have to play on normal, um, or else you only play two stages, um, I'm really bad at that game, and thus, uh, I have never actually finished it on, uh, normal because of how difficult it is. This should be the last enemy of this stretch, by the way, thankfully. Uh, we actually only lost one life, um, which isn't great, obviously, but still not too bad, I'd say. Um, I don't know where this enemy is, actually. Um, they might be on the other truck? That's weird. Um, they must be over here. They were just kind of in the corner, so I, uh, barely out of range for my attacks. Um, so yeah, overall, I feel like this enemy type is really difficult to deal with, um, because of how fast they move, like so. Uh, I might actually, actually lose another life, hopefully not, uh, but we should be done here, uh, after this next hit. Um, but yeah, this stage can take a while because of the trucks. Alright, so we're finally back to solid ground in some kind of facility. Um, 
Except not really, because we, we have these little moving platforms that take us to other parts of the area. Um, I think if we go forward and then go back, there's this little item on the floor, uh, which uh, should be an extra life. So we definitely need that, and we need all the lives we can get. Um, sadly, you can't change the number of lives, you can only change the number of continues. Um, I would actually like 9 lives. Um, just so if I do have to use a continue, I wouldn't have to replay everything up to that point. Uh, but it's not too big of a deal. Um, so yeah, I feel like in general, um, the SNES games aren't too bad, uh, except for how difficult they are. Um, but uh, Sailor Moon S is actually not a beat em up, it's actually a fighting game. Um, that one, I'm a little bit more uncertain of who actually developed it, because I have seen some places say it's Arxis, others say it's not them, so I'm actually not sure who made that game. Uh, it would be funny though to have um, one of their earliest fighting games be a pretty shoddy Sailor Moon fighting game. That one's not particularly good, it's kind of enjoyable, but it's not like I would say a well-designed fighting game. Even as someone who doesn't really know a whole lot about fighting games, I can tell that it's not very well balanced. Um, and then after S, there was fighting games for uh, PS1 and Saturn based on Super S, but I don't think Sailor Star has ever got a game uh, beyond, I think, actually a Sega Pico game. Uh, but beyond that, I don't think there was actually like an official, like, non-educational, um, Sailor Moon game. At least I think the Sega Pico was mostly an educational console. Um, I don't really know much about the Sega Pico. Um, to be honest, growing up with a, a Nintendo Entertainment System and a PS1, uh, Sega tends to be kind of, uh, a subject I'm not super familiar with beyond like the Genesis and some basic history stuff. Um, once you get to like the yeah Sega Pico and like Sonic Schoolhouse and some of the more obscure projects like that, um, I'm not really as knowledgeable about a lot of the more obscure sides of Sega's history. Um, this is not great by the way, we're almost down to uh, we almost went through that life we just picked up. Um, but yeah, I feel like um, it's kind of odd how a lot of Sega games um, were basically like um, not remotely similar to the Super Nintendo counterparts. But again, it's kind of cool. I like having multiple versions of the same game. You know, nowadays uh, ports to different consoles are very um, samey, I would say. Like, if you play a game on PS4, it's going to be the same game as on Xbox One or PS5, um, or even Switch in a lot of cases. Uh, but back, uh, this kind of stopped around the PS2 to PS3 era, where games were just completely different. Um, a lot of licensed games got like a last-gen version and a current-gen version. Um, like a lot of superhero tie-ins, when those were still around, uh, a lot of them would basically get a, a dedicated version for like Wii, PS2, and PSP, and then separate versions for DS and GBA, and um, same would go for like 3DS uh, when that was starting out. Um, so yeah, overall I do find licensed games really fascinating because of trying to release these on as many consoles as possible in a lot of cases, and in a lot of cases having to tailor make uh, specific games to each uh, platform. Again, now consoles are similar enough that this doesn't really happen anymore. We don't really have handheld versions even. I remember like, you know, Sonic Generations is a good example of a game that got a very different handheld adaptation compared to the console version. But yeah, now that we don't really have handhelds beyond, beyond the Switch, this really isn't a problem anymore. Um, but yeah, I kind of miss having like five different versions of the same game um, to tie into like a movie or a TV show. Speaking of tie-ins, I'm actually amazed that the only like recent Sailor Moon game is a mobile game called Sailor Moon Drops, which actually got shut down not that long ago, like a couple years I want to say. Uh, I used to play a little bit, not that much. Um, so uh, 
it's kind of weird with Crystal how they never actually made like a console tie-in, but uh, frankly, I feel like Crystal not doing very doing very well, and also like even the movie they just released uh, to continue Crystal, uh, which was Sailor Moon Eternal. Um, I heard that kind of bombed as well. So um, sadly, it feels like uh, Sailor Moon as a brand is kind of losing momentum, and I feel like Crystal's lukewarm reception is a part of that. Um, so yeah, it is a shame. There was a lot of potential for video games, I would say, uh, based on Sailor Moon. Uh, so yeah, it does kind of suck that there really hasn't been much recently that really uh, was particularly outstanding in terms of video games. I feel like licensed games in general are becoming rarer. Um, like even major franchises like you know Disney stuff doesn't get as many tie-in games as they used to do. Uh, which is a shame. I, I did like that era of video games where basically every movie had like a licensed video game. Um, but yeah, I would love to see um, like yeah, a, an Arc System Works or Way Forward game. Uh, I think that would be really cool. Um, something I've actually thought about is what if like Platinum Games made a Sailor Moon tie-in? Like a Musou game, except you're playing as the, the Sailor Senshi? Like, Sometimes I think about, like, what would actually work? Um, like, what would suit Sailor Moon as a series? Um, in a way, I feel like this doesn't really fit, because I feel like there aren't that many instances of actually fighting this many enemies in Sailor Moon. Um, they tend to just fight one uh, monster at a time. So yeah. Um, I feel like there was a visual novel also for like the Turbo Graphics as well, which I I think recently got a fan translation. How brave of you to confront me! I'll take great pleasure in killing you. Huh? I thought you fell in love with Naruchan and turned good. Hmm. <laughs> I have no idea what you mean. Now stop prowling and face me in combat. So be it, I'll bring you to your senses. With my whip of love. Hmm? Oh, hunter who has forgotten love. Accept a bouquet of flowers into the dried wellspring of your heart. Farewell. Okay, we're not wasting any time, I see. Um. So yeah, this is not, not an easy fight. This is probably the toughest boss so far. Um, because of how fast he is. Um, overall, I feel like, in general, a lot of the bosses tend to get a, get a little bit annoying from this point on, uh, because of just uh, limited mobility versus how fast they can move. I need to actually use the super jump more and, like, kick attacks, um, because you can actually do this as well um, to kind of match their speed. Um, I would also advise to try to keep them away as much as possible with ranged attacks. This is why you like to play Sailor Venus, um, just to avoid having to fight up close. In general, I feel like even beyond just Sailor Venus being a good character for my playstyle, I also just like Sailor Venus as a character. She's probably my second favorite character in Sailor Moon. Uh, my first favorite character would probably be Mercury. Um, but beyond that, I think Venus is probably my second favorite. Uh, mostly because of the manga, I would say. I feel like a lot of the characters are better in the manga than in the actual series, or like in the anime. Just because like Mars gets like a love triangle um, plotline with uh, Moon and Tuxedo Mask, which was not great. Um, Venus has the, the codenamed Sailor V spinoff series. Actually, I think it came first, so it's not really a spinoff. Um, so yeah, a lot of the characters get a lot better development in the manga compared to in the anime. I'm playing this a little bit safe because of having so little health to work with at the moment. Uh, so I'm just kind of using kick attacks once he lunges. Um, didn't work that time. Uh, somehow I got through that uh, without losing a life. And I think that won't be as good of a score as last time. Yeah, see, not horrible, but not as good.
Can't we take a little break? Nope, now pay attention. There are Yoma up ahead. When I was trying to attack, I accidentally picked up the healing item, so that sucked. Um, this is when the game starts getting really difficult, I think, where you only have like a couple more stages to go after all. Um, so I'll do my best to get through uh, relatively unscathed. We might end up having some trouble here. Um, the stage is also unique for having two boss battles, one that later. Uh, and also basically has an obstacle that's not an insta-kill, but it will basically take your health down to, uh, really low, so be very careful. Um, but yeah, uh, Sailor Mercury, when I first watched the series like a decade ago or something, um, I like Sailor Mercury because she was the nerdy one. Um, I feel like, um, she was the most relatable, and then I think Beyond relatability, I think Venus was my favorite. Uh, after that, I would probably say Jupiter and then Mars. I might flip those two based on the manga because I think Mars is better in the manga, Jupiter is better in the anime. Um, and then uh, Sailor Moon of the original five is actually my least favorite, I would say. Um, she's kind of annoying, I find, uh, especially in the anime. I think it's I think she's worse in the anime. Uh, than the manga, but yeah, I do feel like, um, Sailor Moon, ironically, is, like, the least likable character in her own series. Um, I think it's partly just because Sailor Venus kind of fills a similar role, uh, but basically has a better done arc, but kind of the same story arc, so I just prefer Sailor Venus as a character. Um, so yeah, that's kind of why I picked Sailor Venus for this playthrough, because one, I like the character better, and two, uh, just because she's a little bit easier to play than the others. Um, is this where the... yeah, this is where it is. So we want to make our way to the left side of the screen. Uh, we can't do that if enemies are attacking us, so that kind of sucked. Um, and now we have no health, so let's be very careful, I say as I immediately get hit. Um, I haven't used a continue yet, so that's actually good. Um, so that's something at least. Um, I'm a little bit surprised by that, to be perfectly honest. Uh, based on how tough this can be. Um, I need to be more careful. I tend to rush with games, and I actually need to basically be a lot more cautious. That's my biggest problem with games like this, I think. It's just impatience. Um, but before we go any further and uh, run into any more fights, I think we are going to stop here for now. So uh, thank you for watching, and I hope you'll join me next time for more Sailor Moon.